we're going to design an experiment using this piece of perforated sewer pipe and this weight to see how going up different heights will affect how much a can gets crushed. To design this experiment, we need to decide what we think is going to, what we're going to change and then what we think is going to be the effect of it, right? For the research question, how does what change we're going to make? We're going to change the height of the weight, right? How does the height of the weight And then we write in the word effect. And then what are we expecting with the can? Affect how much the can is crushed. Affect how much can is crushed. That would be a proper research question. Okay, for our hypothesis, well first we kind of need to think about the control for the control for me, I'm going to say we're going to have it be the can not being crushed. So now I'm comparing the control to the, in the hypothesis, I'm writing what I think will happen with one of the tests, either two meters high or one meter high, and how that will be different from with the control. So let's do two meters high. Start with if, if the weight is two meters up then well or do we think the can will be crushed more or less I think it would be crushed more then the can will be crushed more more and then because scientifically, why do you think it'll be crushed more? Well, because it'll be going faster, right? The weight will be going down faster. The weight, oh, spelled that wrong. Weight will be going down faster. Okay, so the independent variable is what we're changing. What are we changing? The height of the weight, right? Different heights of the weight. How are we gonna measure our data? That's our data dependent variable. How are we going to measure our data? Well, we're going to measure how much the can get, gets crushed uh, in centimeters. How much the can gets crushed in centimeters. The control, that's our normal test, we get to define it, I'm going to define it as uh, the can not crushed the materials we need, well, let's see, we're going to need a sewer pipe um, a weight Cans, a ruler, there will be a dowel that we'll need to hold up the weight at the different heights, a computer for recording, for recording the data. So our procedures for this test, what do we need to do? We've got all the materials, we're all ready to go. Uh, step one, place can 
upright on floor. Step two, uh, uh, place dowel in pipe at correct height. And insert weight. Step three, place pipe over a can. Step four, uh, pull out the dowel. Step five, uh, measure height of can. Step six, calculate amount crushed. You'll have to subtract out the initial subtract out what's left compared to how much how tall it was to begin with actually an amount amount of crushed step seven record data step eight test each height each height at least three times three times using steps one through seven the height of the can beforehand is 12.2 centimeters. For the control, we're dropping the weight on top of the can from zero centimeters. So this would be the result. And the height of the can would still be 12.2 centimeters. And then when you subtract it out, the 12.2 centimeters of the initial height of the can you would end up with zero centimeters crushed. Test one at one meter, place the pipe over the can, pull out the dowel, crush the can. Height of can after first test at one meter, 8.5 centimeters. For the data, first run of one meter is 8.5 centimeters. The control we did was zero centimeters on each one with an average of zero. Remember, we still need to calculate, this is how tall the can is now, this is how tall it was to begin with, how much was crushed. We'll do that later. Test, test two, one meter. Height of can after crushing for one meter. Second test is 6.8 centimeters. Now we record 6.8 centimeters. That's the second run. And then let's test one meter one more time. Height of can, this is the third test of one meter, is 8.4 centimeters. 
Okay, so now we record the data for the third one at one meter and is 8.4 centimeters. Now we're going to do the first test at two meters. Okay. The first test of two meters, 7.9 centimeters. We record our data for the first one at two meters is 7.9 centimeters. And run the second test. Second test, uh, two meters out of the can, 7.1 centimeters. Okay, record the data for the second run at two meters. It was 7.1 centimeters. And run the third test. Third run for the two meter test. And this crust to seven centimeters. Okay, for the third run at two meters, it was 7.0 centimeters. So now you would need to calculate the amount that's left, right? If we have, if we were just doing this one here, 12.2 centimeters minus seven centimeters would equal uh, five, 0.2 centimeters that were crushed. So you need to figure out for each one how much was crushed. We're not interested in how much is left, we're interested in how much was crushed. So you'd have to use a calculator, subtract these numbers from 12.2, and then you would add up the three numbers and divide by three to get the average height crushed. Okay, and from that then we can draw conclusions. Okay, so I calculated the data. Uh, I subtract, I did 12.2 minus each of the ones and figured out the amount crushed. And then I added them together and divided by three to determine that at one meter, 4.3 centimeters of the can was crushed. And at two meter, 4.9 centimeters of the can was crushed on average, which shows that more of the can gets crushed when you raise the, the weight to a higher height. So in conclusion, the, the higher the weight, the more the can is crushed. So now you should be able to tell if we were to raise the can the weight to three meters or four meters, what do you expect would happen to the amount of the can that was crushed?